action. Bum, 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 say hello to the girl that I am. Hey everybody, this is me in my outfit. Sweatpants shorts and my cat slippers that also double as chlor. Floor cleaners. Floor cleaners! Anyway, I haven't made a video in a while. Things have been kind of crazy and like not at the same time. But I wanted to talk to y'all about a recent scam that I've come across because a lot of people have reached out to me being like, Rosie, my Facebook page got stolen. And I was like, what do you mean? And so I actually put two and two together because I get these emails all the time of people asking me, hey, would you be open to paid advertising on your page? And I'm just gonna post a few gajillion screenshots of this happening. Bam, bam, bam. So basically what happens with this scam is that people will actually try to steal your Facebook page and either use it for their own business or sell it to other people that want to. So the scammers make money by stealing these pages or they make money by all of a sudden having an automatic following of, you know, 20,000 followers or more and they use it for their business. So the way it works is they either DM you on Instagram, which happens all the time, or you get an email, which happens all the time. And they're like, hey, are you open to paid advertising on your Facebook page? We'll give you like $300 per ad. You just have to run two per week. So it's nothing like crazy money where it's like, oh my God, this is too good to be true. But how easy it is, is way too good to be true, which is one of the many red flags about getting scammed. So a girl reached out to me via DM saying, oh my gosh, I just got scammed. I can't freaking believe it. I'm so mad. This person stole my page and she showed me the conversation between them. He was like, oh, like I'll PayPal you, whatever. Like we won't run any ads that you don't approve. And she was like, sure, why not? Like easy money. I just have to say yes. So she agreed to this deal. Then she got an email actually directly from Facebook, a legit email that comes from Facebook approving the user of this page to become like a moderator or a manager of this page. And when that happens, they can kick you off of the page, take it over and ghost you, which is exactly what happened to my friend. And we're in the middle of trying to get her page back. It's pretty crazy. So once you fall for the scam initially, it gets pretty easy to believe the rest since you get a real email from Facebook. And so since I get these emails all the time, I wanted to show you a few interactions between me and these scammers, just kind of stringing them along, wasting their time, getting them to send me like the funniest images of the most random things because they're super desperate. Here's a few screenshots. But before we get into that, I want to do a quick shout out to today's video sponsor, Dashlane. So Dashlane is an amazing mobile and desktop app that simplifies every part of your digital life. Right now we're spending more time than ever on our phones and computers, at least I know I am. Dashlane is rad because it's a password generator and manager personal info and payment auto filler, and a VPN service. Dashlane also allows you to store encrypted files like scans of passports, insurance cards, contracts, etc., keeping these documents accessible and 100% safe. And the best part is you don't have to go around finding all these separate apps for all these services. It's the whole package of keeping your online life safe, easily accessible, and secure. So make your life easier and give Dashlane a try for free on your first device by heading to dashlane.com slash Rosie. And when you want to upgrade to premium, use my code Rosie for 10% off. Thanks guys. Okay, so here's some emails of me messing with these scammers via email back and forth, asking them for the most random stuff. I asked them to send me pictures of balloon animals randomly and they did. What is that? They literally just sent me a picture of like a balloon animal orgy. I don't even know what to do with that. And some of them are super obvious because they come with like the warning signals and I just like, I hate them so much. I send them the most random requests. Here's me asking them for pictures of high-end potato chips. I don't even know what that means. And I just, I friggin' can't stand them. I'm not joking that I get like 10 of these a day. So I mess with them in really subtle ways until they get really fed up and mad at me and start cussing me out in whichever language they use. They friggin' had enough of me after I sent like 70 messages back and forth, wasting their time so that they couldn't steal anyone else's pages. Still going, still scrolling, still scrolling, still scrolling. Several hours later. Still scrolling, still scrolling. I'm not joking. It says at the top, look, 70 messages. I'm not sure what this says. I think I looked it up and it was like, they said to like <laughs> their d or something. Anyways, they got pretty mad at me. 
Anyways, guys, I just want to let you guys know if you have any businesses or a brand or creator page, please be careful and don't fall for these Facebook scams. It's really wild. And I want to show you really quick something that I almost fell for myself, which was crazy because it showed up like this for my band page. And I, listen guys, at first I fell for it because the little icon here shows that it like shows up like a notification, but really they just changed their picture to that so that it would pop up. And then it said something weird about there being like fraud committed under my page and they just needed me to confirm. And I was like tired, it was like 2 a.m. I was scrolling through my phone, about to fall asleep, took like a full melatonin. And I scrolled and scrolled and I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, like I don't want my band page to be in trouble. So I was tired, it looked legit because of the icon, I clicked on it and it brought me to this weird site and it was like, just log in with your info. And I was like, hold on a second double, triple, quadruple, whatever the fifth thing is, oople, check and make sure. And I almost got scammed. So even me, even me who should like know better more often than not, I almost fell for it. And it was so crazy. Um, I went through and like changed all my passwords just in case. I'm really lucky because I use a VPN and everything and my phone's super protected. But had I logged in with any of that information, they probably would have been able to hack everything because Facebook is connected to Instagram and all sorts of stuff. My whole thing could have been so ruined. I don't have that many likes on my Facebook page, but enough to be like super pissed if someone were to take it from me and just hack into it or sell it. Um, so if any of this has ever happened to you, please reach out to me and let me know and I'll try to get to the bottom of getting your page back. So crazy, I cannot believe I almost fell for it. Boy, I could tell me. But just because you fall for a scam doesn't mean you're a dummy. Again, I was tired. Falling for stuff like that depends on so many things in a situation, your state of mind, you know, desperation, boredom, sleepy, scrolling on melatonin, whatever it is, so crazy. I'm really glad that I'm good. I'm really glad I didn't fall for it. So be careful. I've never even seen anything like that on Facebook. I've definitely seen the Facebook ad scams like more than a trillion times. So um, yeah, if you've ever been scammed, please DM me on Twitter and Instagram and let me know so I can get to the bottom of it and help you guys out. Um, this is more of an informational thing than like funny, but I just wanted to warn you because I almost got scammed. A girl I know did get scammed and happens way too often and I'm gonna try to get some of them on the phone because you know the deal. Anyways, I love you guys so much. I will be back very soon with another new video. Don't forget to check out Dash Lane. <laughs>